Hey everybody, got another video here for you. So the second um, string air block arrived. This is the the fan fret version, and hold on a sec. And it looks like uh, it'll fit the same way this other one does. Not a big issue. It's only about a twenty degree angle on this thing. So, but yeah. So, this is another possibility. It actually is not quite as tall, and it, it would have to stick out just as much on this side, but that's it. I haven't checked to make sure that it clamps down all the way, though. So, it comes with a matching nut, already pre-grooved. Uh, pre it's nice. Yeah, it looks like they clamp down all the way. It ships with them all the way clamped down. So, you can't see any light underneath that one. Or any of these under my fingers. And this one, I opened it up. And yeah, you can definitely see there's room for a string in there. This design, apparently what they did is they, they drilled the hole. And then made a slot. And then drilled two holes for the locks. But yeah, once again, this locks. And I'm not sure, but this might also be a Geiger part. So, but yeah, this is another possibility. This one actually might look a little nicer, but the other one's already on the guitar. So, time to put a number one string on.
Well, these sevens and being sevens, they're they're lighter gauge across the board. I think the loose strings a 36, and on a set of eights, it's usually a 38, as I recall. But yeah, they actually sound uh, brighter, I guess you would say. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. So it's tuned up. I need to put the locks on it. And uh, as I suspected, the the hole back here for the for the thumb screw knob, whatever, um, it wallowed out, so it's gonna need some filling. And uh, I guess that's about it. And then a the, uh, sound demo. Even though this this guitar is going to sound like all the rest of them that have you know the quad rail and the and with the with the split on it. So um, that would be something like I believe guitar number eight or the original barrel tuner or pff, most of my builds actually probably about I don't know probably about a quarter of them have the split built in and almost all of them use the quad rail so um yeah let me uh let's see i guess yeah i gotta put the locks on next So if you look right here, you'll see that four of the holes, the old set of anchors, are still visible. And uh, I'm thinking that some gloss black spray paint and a little paintbrush, I think I can get in between strings and hit these guys up and make them disappear. Well, I was not able to fill this hole successfully. I suspect that long term would just 
probably would not cut it. So it's time to go to alt.plan.b and I'm going to use uh, two thumb screws and inserts and put one thumb screw is like the pivot right here at the center and then the other thumb screw I'm thinking put like one insert down here and then I can do a hole for 45, a hole for seated, a hole for park, and then you flip the whole thing over and I do a hole for strap. And use two thumb screws and two inserts and it won't be infinitely adjustable but it'll still work. And it'll still have this new kind of bar. So the only thing I'm losing is the infinite adjustability. But it should be sufficiently stable. Okay, I figured out where the three holes need to go for the three positions on this side. And I still got to figure out the strap position. Um, the way I did it was, first I measured the distance between these two. It's 34 millimeters. So all three of these holes are 34 millimeters from the pivot hole. And then what I did was I measured this angle here. 
and this thing is kicked back 30 degrees from from like the saddle line so to speak and so I already knew that I was shooting for 25 degrees at seated 45 for classical and I measured out the park position it's 15 degrees the other direction so then all I had to do was just add or subtract the angles depending on which way I was going and that told me how many degrees this way or that each of these holes needed to be and they all had to be 34 millimeters from the center and so I was able to punch them all out just doing that and then set it down on the guitar and they all line up perfectly so um, I need to center drill these so that I can then drill them through from both sides uh, so there's no tear out because you'll be able to flip the bar over for the strap position which means you'll be able to see both sides so you don't want any tear out Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video. So, until the next one, everybody, have a good one.